Hi, I'm Wireless Wanda from Wireless City, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Motorola Zoom tablet, the first Android 3.0 honeycomb tablet on the Verizon Wireless Network. Let's take a quick trip around the Zoom. On the bottom of the device you have your ports. You have your USB, HDMI, and your dock connectors. On the top of the device, you have your headset jack and you have the 4G LTE SIM card slot. On the back of the device, you have your power button, you have your 5 megapixel camera. On the front of the device, you have your 2 megapixel camera. And then on the left, you have your volume up and down keys. As you can see, the Motorola Zoom is much larger than the Galaxy Tab. Just for a comparison, I'll put this on top. You can see how much larger it is. Another big difference is the interface. If you look at the two devices, you can see how differently they're set up. On the Galaxy Tab, you have your menu keys in the bottom here. And on the Motorola Zoom, you have your keys, but they're on what's called a systems bar. You have your menu key, your back key, and your recent activity key. You also have your notifications on the right side for email and your Wi-Fi and your battery. Up in the corner, you have your Google search, your voice search, your apps key to see all the apps that you have, and your customization key. Like other Android devices, the Motorola Zoom has five customizable screens. To customize your screen, you hit the plus button up in the corner, where you have your five screens display that you can customize, as well as your widgets, your app shortcuts, wallpapers, and more. Your widgets are here, scroll through those. You have your app shortcuts, and you have your wallpapers that you can choose from, and you also have some more applications here. To add an application to your screen, hit the application, drag to the screen, it highlights the screen so you can place your app where you'd like. To get rid of an application, press on it and remove it to the trash. The web browsing experience on the Zoom is unmatched. I was very happy to see when I opened this that it resembles Google Chrome. And you're also able to sync your bookmarks that you have with Google Chrome to your tablet. Another great feature is that you can easily add new tabs and easily delete them. I really like the way the contacts are set up on the Zoom. There are two panes. On the left side, you have your contacts. On your right side, you have detailed information. It's very easy to add and sync from Facebook, Twitter, and your Google account. However, if you are using Yahoo, you're going to have to use third-party software to sync your contacts. This key allows you to see your settings, accounts, import, export, share contact, delete contact. And the pencil key allows you to edit the contact. Emailing is a breeze on the Zoom. It's very easy to compose messages. Just hit your Compose button, and you can type using the keyboard with your index finger, or you can lay it down flat and type the old-fashioned way. And it's very easy to sync your email from various accounts. One of my favorite features is the Zoom's e-reader. It comes with some preloaded books. If you'd like to buy more books, you just go to the sh hit the shop key, go to the Android Market, and download your book. It's a really cool feature. Here's the Alice in Wonderland book. Just slide your finger to turn the pages. What's really great is that you can listen to music while you read your book by accessing the music key.
The gaming experience on the Zoom is awesome, due largely in part to the Tegra 2 processor. The Zoom comes preloaded with two 3D games specifically designed for the Android 3.0 Honeycomb. The games are the extremely popular Dungeon Defenders and Cordy, which is what you see here. The Zoom comes with a 5 megapixel camera. It has all of the features you would expect to find on a normal camera. And it's very easy to navigate with this large dial on the right side. You have your flash, your balance, color effect, settings, etc. It's easy to switch to video mode by sliding your finger there. And again, you have your settings on this right hand side. Takes great pictures. This is my dog Maggie. Very sharp, very crisp. The Zoom also comes with a 2 megapixel front camera. To access that, you hit this key here. And hi David! You can take a picture of yourself. So there's a look at the Motorola Zoom for Verizon Wireless, the first tablet with Android 3.0. For more information on the Zoom and other great devices, visit my blog at www.wirelessblurbs.com.